Welcome to The Create House, everybody. I'm Jeff Larson, and you have just seen the work of Vittorio Mattioli, who is in uh, Athens, Greece. Uh, Vittorio started off uh, photography while he was working on his PhD in Scotland. I think I have that right. Is that right, Vittorio? Yeah. Yep. Good. Good. And he is going to show us uh, some work that he has been uh, putting together here. But first, I want to introduce our illustrious reviewers, our experts in photography, Phil Penman, who is a uh, one of the all-time great street photographers. He is a uh, UK born. He's now been in New York for a couple of decades, and he has been documenting the streets of New York for at least uh, 25 years or so. Phil Penman, it is uh, fantastic once again to have you back on the Crit House. Always good to be back. Thank you right. for inviting me. Alex Kilby, how's it? How's it? South African born and raised and currently living in England. He's a portrait photographer, but more importantly to me anyway, he is the host of the Photographic Eye here on YouTube. Really one of the smartest and best photo channels on YouTube. Alex, it's uh, it's great to have you back here on the Crit House again. Thank you, Jeff. And how's it? How's it? To, uh, to... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's wonderful to be here. Thank you. So much. Well, we always appreciate you coming on back. So, Vittorio, uh, tell us a little bit about your photography, and then we will uh, set off our experts to talk and try to help you out. Thank you. I started, uh, I think, six years ago now. And after a few years of caring more about the gear, uh, I started looking more into becoming a better photographer. And then I thought uh, I should ask some well-known uh, Greek photographers that happen to be family friends for some critique. And that happened just recently. They were very kind and they told me, they helped me understand that this can be made into a project. And since that time, I have been looking at it more specifically. The idea is uh, to document in a way the, ch the change and the impact that tourism brings to Athens. Tourism, not just foreigners, as you might see some pictures of schools that come to these neighborhoods very often. And, uh, but instead of looking at what they look at, show the people themselves. The suggestion I had so far was uh, to keep going, that this is just in its beginnings. As I said, just two months now. Uh, just uh, keep doing it. It will take a few more years uh, before the body of work can be used in some way and maybe to try and take some pictures from further afar uh, as fillers in a way because if i were to put this in an exhibition or a book or anything it might be a bit too much of having only people so far up close i think i have only shared one of those pictures here uh, maybe the last one or this the second to last uh, because this piece of advice was given to me just a week before the video so i haven't had the chance to do much of that I need critique, I need people whose photography I trust rather than family members to just tell me what they think of this, whether they think that this can work, whether I should keep doing at it, doing this, and maybe how to make it better, how to try and uh, uh, what the end result should be. Should I try and go for a book, a publication? Should I try and look into having some sort of uh, um exhibition further in a few years or nothing well um we, we've been <laughs> through all of the images at this point and i'm gonna say yeah. uh, i'm gonna start with phil uh, if you could because you you are the street guy and i think uh, maybe you want to talk a little bit about what you're seeing and maybe some thoughts on uh, technique or what do you think oh i i'd say for, first off where you know where do you want to go with this obviously we don't want to do nothing um this is, I'm guessing this is not your full-time job. This is no. something that, okay. So this has to be enjoyable, right? Because you already have something else. This, whatever we shoot on the street, we have to enjoy doing it because this is kind of our relief from our work. Okay, so we don't want this to become stressful. From a technique point of view, like, you know, I like the idea that you definitely have, like this one's nice, number six. If you scroll down, there's one that stands out above all the rest to me, which is the lady with the black glasses. That one, she grabs me straight away. Okay, because um, that's kind of a style that I like. Yeah, there's there's technique. The are you are you shooting kind of like f doing the whole uh, zone focusing f eight f thirteen actually. F I saw twelve thousand eight hundred for most of them. Okay, so. Yeah, you know, a lot of photographers do this kind of thing. Um, for me, with that, you're 
like it's not something that I personally do because I I like a bit more depth of focus in my work. You know, there's there's elements. If you're going to introduce elements like that writing on the the right hand side of her, it has to kind of make sense in the picture. Like you're trying to concoct a picture where everything kind of works together. It can't, it's not just a picture of. Uh, some of the ones where like you're in a lot closer, you're filling the frame more. They work better for me. Um, to your point with the project, like if I was to look at this, I wouldn't know from the description that you told me that that was the project that you were working on. So I would want, I would definitely want to see, look at it more as a feature. Like if I was to lay this out as a book, it, it's not just the same picture over and over again. Um, I would want to see like the wider establishing shots. You know, even like you go, like we were talking earlier, like kind of the Martin Power references where you would have like the, the iconic statue or something and it's the, the shot is the people looking at it. Okay, but you see, you kind of see both. I, I, so I definitely want to see some wider pictures as well to help tell the story. Um, like I said, some of them definitely work much better than others. And it's going to take you a long time of shooting to start building up a body of work. Because you can see this is all kind of taken within a short period of time as well. Like that one's nice. So kind of like I'm looking around the frame and kind of watching everything that's going on. I like I actually like elements where everything's not in focus. Like it doesn't all have to be like that. It could be that the frame is actually, you know, you're using her out of focus. You could have the focus on something back here, and maybe you've got two people framing something else. It doesn't all have to be like this. So I would say experiment technique wise as well. Um, you know, it helps tell a story like to me there's too much going on that's not helping do anything for me alex gilby your thoughts yeah. sir um <laughs> professor so you guys have got some glasses on <laughs> it's just um yeah I, I there's a lot of echoes you know in what sort of phil was was saying um you said you've been photographing this we're going to loosely call it a project for two months yeah yeah which is yeah. a very short time. It, it is, is not and I also feel um, that you are you are still finding your own style. You, you know, I, I think that the idea of an actual project is probably a, a little bit off, you know, in, in the distance. And I would rather approach this as finding the style that suits you, that, that feels natural. You know, like Phil was saying, it needs to be fun. It needs to be exciting. And it is not, and it's a chore to bind when you're trying to photograph in a way that doesn't feel natural for you. So if you look at some of these, it feels like you're trying something because you've seen, like, like the lady with her eyes over thing. While it's not Bruce Gilden sort of thing, it has that kind of feel just because of the light and the, like a flash sort of thing. Um, if this were my body of work, I'd be looking at it and going, okay, well, I see some echoes of photographers in here whose work I enjoy and I like shooting and that stuff. The the image that Phil picked up on the lady with the glasses, who has a very also vintage, the way that she looks is very 60s-ish. Right. Uh, this kind of makes me feel like also she looks like my gran. <laughs> so like, yeah, not when she was younger. Stylish gran, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> very stylish. <laughs> Um, uh, but it also reminds me of um, Anton Corbein. So I don't know, are you familiar with Anton Corbein? I've seen very little, but yeah. Okay, so very favorite sort of music photographer, what have you. Um, but he does this very, again, very sort of gritty black and white stuff. And something he, he does, which is a good example, if you're looking, for example, that Phil was talking about, but that, that differential focus where things in the foreground, like her being out of focus or something like that, um, he does a lot of that in, in quite a bit of his work. So have a look. And my feeling is that actually what you seem to be leaning towards is sort of street portraiture. That these feel like they're portraits of people on the street rather than street scenes. Um, yeah, do you understand that that's that sort of difference? Yes, uh, with the small caveat that uh, they're candid. I'm not asking. Yeah, them, yeah, uh, yeah. Them, but they're, yeah. they're still they're, they're pictures of people yes. rather yeah. than a street scene or yeah, so, you know. 
And, and I think once you kind of get a grip and once you go through and you photographed, you know, a lot more of this, a couple of seasons of doing this, then something like this image here, if you go back one, please, Phil, sure. where you had, I think you had the, the seeds of an idea up here, right? You, you know, and, but you haven't got the, the, the depth of knowledge yet, depth of, you know, this kind of experience to let it come out, right? So, and that's going to come through perseverance, going to come through working. You know, Phil, you've been, how long in New York now? Like 25 years, he said? Yeah, but th 30 years shooting. And the, the thing is, you're going to find that your style keeps evolving as well. Yeah. So what I'm hearing you both say, and maybe I'm trying, I'll distill this incorrectly, but correct me if I'm wrong, is that um, perhaps, um, Vittorio should not focus on the project so much as developing the technique, just going out, shooting, finding what works for him, finding a style that he feels comfortable with, and maybe going to the same place uh, or places, but not necessarily cubbyhole himself into this project and maybe just work on his mm -hmm. photography. Is that yeah, it, it's an, early, accurate? Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's early days. Like, you know, I still do it. You know, I'm... Because you you already know what's out there, and you you constantly want to keep trying to evolve your own photography and introduce new elements. So, like recently, I was doing this thing where I, I'm really into the work of Titarenko, Alexei Titarenko, uh, love his and work. using kind of motion to tell a story, mm -hmm. and like putting your own twist on it and incorporating that into a street scene. So I'll practice something like that, and then I'll take an element of that, and then see how I can introduce that into my style. And then I might try something else. And the idea is it's not like you're trying to copy their style. You're just trying to learn something else so that when you go out, you can start putting all these elements together to create your own style. Yeah. Is that, I, I always like a cooking analogy. And I think so, So uh, you know, you were saying you're from Italy originally, yeah? Yes, Florence. So you, Italy, you spent some time in St. Andrews up in Scotland. So you know what a deep fried Mars bar is. Uh, of course I do. You've got to, you've got to Greece, you know. So there's three hugely different cuisines, for example. So now your personal palate is influenced by those three countries, right? And I think that's kind of what Phil's driving at is you're finding inspiration from you. You're taking, like a chef, little bits of ingredients and you're tasting, you go, do I like that? Ugh, no, I don't like that, right? Do I like this? Yeah, yeah, that's quite cool. Okay, so I'm going to try using that ingredient, that particular style, that particular photographer's technique for a little bit until I understand kind of where it's coming from. And then I'm going to just bring that into my, it's going to leach naturally into my own photography. And, and that's kind of where I think, yeah, you know, to echo what Jeff neatly summarized, is that I think it's a bit early days for, for a project. And really, you should just be trying all sorts of things out. You know, see what works for you, see what doesn't, and and just and just go with it from there. I do find that, like with a lot of street photographers that I know, <laughs> is that they call themselves street photographers, and they don't they don't think about shooting other kinds or taking images of other kinds of photography. You know, small uh, things on the street that that are not necessarily street photography because they they say that see themselves as street photography uh, vitario have you have you thought have you done like other kinds of work of just going around shooting and not shooting people taking uh it's images of something you see on the street some detail shot that you can capture yeah. maybe yeah yeah i started actually what i thought i was doing in the beginning was more like travel photography where i even in my own city i looked more into taking, I don't know if I should call them cityscapes, but pictures of interesting things that uh, I could then show as part of a travel log or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, I've done lots of uh, unofficial, in a way, portraiture being locked in for two years uh, of my family members and so on and so forth. Unfortunately, I was, I never enjoyed the, the part of uh, it's not being it being planned in a way when it comes to people. So mm -hmm. that wasn't for me. Um, I I have done some landscape uh, that didn't go great for me either. 
uh, I enjoy it sometimes, but uh, in general, I have come to the conclusion that uh, what works best for me is to go around the city, not necessarily people. I don't just take these pictures. This, uh, in fact, now what I'm doing is uh, try and get a bit away from the subjects as well uh, sometimes. Uh, but yeah, in general, I enjoy the city element, whether it's people within a city or uh, buildings or some interesting element or subject within yeah. Yeah. yeah, don't limit yourself. Like I, I think a lot of people, especially like street, they have a very a definitive thing um, of you know what it is. Uh, mm -hmm. We're not even at that, we're not even at that point yet where we know what's good and what's not. Yeah, like I, I think a lot of people they'll start photography and they don't want to put in the hard work to get to the next point. Like you know, it's going to take years. Uh, when I was studying photography, every week we had a different assignment, so it'd be like. 5-4 color transparency in a studio shooting plates and food then the next week was architecture photography uh, landscapes news photography and every time you try something new you're picking something up and you're learning something new so that when you go into the form that you like all those little elements is like muscle memory things come together a lot quicker yeah you you know there's street photography is more about predicting what's going to happen rather than reacting to things like when you're really good, you can already plan the picture out before it's even happened. And you have to put in the training and the, the, you've got to make basically a lot of mistakes, learning from mistakes. Because if you're not taking pictures and you're not learning from the mistakes, then you're just going to keep making the mistakes. So get out there, try new things. Go, go try fashion photography. You know, Try all these little things and learn from every little one. Well, Phil, yeah. you said it at the start have fun, right? Yeah. That's, that's the reason we're, that's, that's the reason I do it. You know, I'm, that's the reason we're doing the credit and I, I don't want to go out and have it be drudgery. Fine. Try different things and see what, what, what is fun. Maybe like Phil said, fashion, maybe it's detail imagery, maybe it's urban land, urban landscapes, as opposed to just general landscapes. I, I tell um, you what, you know, we are talking, Phil, you, I'm assuming then you studied photography. The same with me. I wanted to be a photojournalist actually. Um, when I went into photo school, uh, and, and I hated people, right? I mean, like I hated talking. To people. I, I still hate them. them. Yeah, um, <laughs> I, I I could not talk to people at all. I was so worried about taking their photographs. And now I I'm a portrait photographer. That's all I do is talk to people. And I would never have done that if I hadn't been forced to do those things at photo school. Because it wasn't like you went to photo school and you said, "Well, I want to be a photojournalist, so I'm only going to shoot photojournalism." You had to photograph everything, product shots, you know, uh, architectural, the whole, the whole gamut. And you find things that, you know, that, that stick with you. As, as Phil says, you find those little gems in the most unlikely places. And that's what makes your work stand out because you're not like everybody else. You're not just slavishly copying whoever is the flavor of the moment in street photography or whatever. You're bringing a you're bringing your voice to it. Well, so Vittoria, I think for me the thing that comes through is you have you have a love of photography. You know, you can feel that in the imagery. You can feel that in how you're talking about it. And I think what one of the things you're hearing from us is this: um, go go find it. Maybe street photography. It may be honing your technique down to you know a way that you start to know what your photography what your phot photographs look like. And maybe it's a different, uh, different style, a different take on things, because um, it's you. You have, you have a good foundation, and the most important part of that foundation is your passion for it, and your your care and your love for it. Cheers, Bill. Did you have any any last words for Vitario before we wrap it up? Yeah, don't don't get obsessed with the whole project book thing as well. Every everybody oh, feels, everybody feels like they have to have a project, you know. I I might have uh, misrepresented myself a bit uh, up there. Oh, this is it's... in general. This is in general. Every most photographers feel like they have to have a project. The thing is, it the project has to be interesting to you. To it's more it. that I go out and shoot, and what happens with my daily life now is just this is where I am every day. So this is what I shoot every day, but I enjoy doing that. Then, then I didn't do, think of it as such. Exactly. Yeah. Well, then keep then, that then up. Just keep doing that. 
just keep doing that. Yeah. Good. Cheers. Good. Vittorio, great listen. Thank you for bringing your photography on. I hope Thank you find you. this uh, to be helpful. Um, Phil Penman and Alex Kilby, it's always great to have you on. If anyone's out there uh, interested, I know that both Phil and Alex um, are uh, able to do consulting. If you want to have them talk about uh, your work specifically and spend more time with them, they can help you out with that. Um, I should say as well that if you are interested in showing your work here on the Crit House, you can do that by going to our website at thecrithouse.com. I'm, by the way, going to be linking to a couple of videos here as we close things out. Uh, one is one of Alex's videos, uh, Getting Silly Excited Over Photos from Frames <laughs> Magazine, in which he talks about the work of Phil Penman. And that's how they, I had this idea of bringing the two of them together so um and then there's an artist talk with uh with phil penman as well um new york as a muse thank you all for watching the crit house